Hello everyone, my name is uh, Federico Sapia and I work uh, as a digital workplace uh, specialist in a public sector company. Let's build uh, an internal CV with Microsoft List. Uh, today I would like to talk about a new solution I created uh, using uh, the new Microsoft List uh, application. This solution will uh, allow us to uncover the most advanced features uh, of Microsoft uh, List uh, to track and organize information about people in an uh, organization through an internal CV template. First, uh, I want to say um, I want to say that even though you can take it uh, as an, ex an example and customize it uh, based on your needs, this is not necessarily a solution for a real world production, but uh, a demo of some advanced Microsoft list capabilities and how they can be put together to help users work better and in less time. And uh, when it comes to users, uh, Microsoft List uh, is not uh, just about tracking stuff like products, uh, activities, uh, and so on, but uh, it could be also focused uh, on people. Therefore, this uh, solution is meant uh, to provide HR managers and specialists with uh, an example of how it's possible to gather information about employees and their work history or a career path, along with uh, other Microsoft 365 solutions. These solutions could be obviously third-party apps or platform as well, but the internal CV template I'm going to share today took inspiration from Microsoft Dell, since it shares part of the same information structure. In other words, we can let other people know more about us, what we are good at, and what we are working on right now. And similarly to Dell, we are able to add projects skills and education history to our profile to help others find us when they, they are looking for people with a certain expertise. Furthermore, additional info are available since Microsoft, Microsoft List Sample uh, provides a point of access to both the standard Microsoft TC5 organizational card and a link to our Yammer profile where knowledge is shared with followers and within communities. But uh, to achieve this uh, result, uh, we need a proper user interface, and uh, here comes the logic uh, used to build this uh, Microsoft List uh, template. We can display different types of uh, information on a card, but uh, what if we used uh, this card if, uh, if it was a mix between a digital paper and a social profile? Well, the result that we can see in this preview is a large custom card of a gallery view, which allows users to fill out a form composed of multiple sections, as well as further customization option will allow to add a background image and a header too. So the main question are the following. How far can we take a Microsoft List card? What are the features and capabilities that we could implement to make a large card work as a, an internal curriculum vitae. What are the advantages for user as well as HR and people management processes? Well, here is the good news, uh, because uh, everything uh, we can see here and uh, in a real time demo soon is fully supported by Microsoft List JSON. In other words, no workarounds, no glitches uh, or tricks uh, to get things done, but some advanced and fully documented features we can find listed here. So as mentioned before, the result is a, an example of how you can put many advanced features together in a tool to deal with one of the great challenges in our organization. That is uh, getting people to fill out more about themselves uh, than Azure Active Directory knows. And uh, one of these uh, advanced features I would like to highlight today uh, is the usage of the line edit field JSON property. According to Microsoft Official Docs, thanks to the uh, inline editing, we can load field editors to edit field data on an item in a standard list view layout. However, in this example, the inline editing feature is widely used in a gallery view layout to allow users to edit uh, an internal CV without the need uh, for opening the standard right pane and thus making the filling process quicker and easier. As, except for uh, the custom images uh, and the attachments, all the editing boxes are visually embedded and ready for user in a card. 
And uh, among the features I've mentioned, I would like to share a deeper look at the automation of an uh, internal CV attachments. Uh, this is an implementation that tries to get the most out of the list attachments to display them as a clickable tiles. And this is possible thanks to a dedicated power automate flow and the new JSON split operator recently added by Microsoft for custom formatting in Microsoft list. In other words, each user can upload the, the attachments through the advanced editing right pane, while a power, a power automate flow and the split operator will execute all the required tasks to let other people view these attachments by clicking on corresponding tiles displayed in the works portfolio section. And now, all the steps required uh, to create this automation service, as well as the JSON code, are uh, illustrated in a step-by-step -step tutorial available in the sample solution gallery of uh, Microsoft Adoption Portal. And uh, in addition to this, uh, you can learn more about JSON formatting thanks to Microsoft Learn official docs. So this is the end of my uh, presentation, but uh, I would like to share a real-time demo from my screen, so to play the role of uh, an end user, and uh, here is uh, what uh, we get. Uh, everything is uh, empty now, but if we, we uh, create a new item and just save it, uh, here is what we can see. We have uh, an empty CV card. We can further customize by adding, for example, a uh, um, cover image. We click on Edit All. Let's add a new image here. Let's choose, uh, for example, this one here. Okay. We can uh, also add a background uh, image. Let's choose uh, another one, for example, this one here. Okay. And uh, here we go. You can save this card, and uh, everything now is updated uh, with uh, these uh, custom images. But uh, as uh, I said, uh, we can use the line editing uh, in place. Uh, in this card, so we can start uh, writing more about us. I have a uh, uh, text, uh, standard text, uh, Lauren Mipson. So if I put this text here, it is that uh, this uh, CV card will expand. So the more we write, the more it will expand. And uh, we can also add more uh, uh, information, for example, about projects through a drop down menu. We can uh, populate here, we can write any text that we want, we can add more entries and so on. And also this section with drop down will expand up to a certain limit of pixel. If this limit is exceeded, um, a pop-up, um, a custom overcard that will show us a complete overview of all the information we added here. Uh, the same thing is uh, for uh, the other section that uh, reproduce uh, the structure of uh, Microsoft Dev application. As uh, I said, we have a works portfolio and a people picker to show the people we are collaborating with, uh, for example, uh, our current project. And with uh, regard to this uh, work, works uh, portfolio section, uh, I would like to show you what's the magic, because uh, uh, there is a, a power automate flow behind this uh, and ready to be triggered. So if we put uh, the attachment, uh, for example, I can add uh, some attachment uh, here from my desktop. I can add uh, this one, this one, this one, and this one here. Yeah. Okay, everything is saved and uh, a power automate flow within some second uh, basically will uh, will write some information um, in a specific field, and the JSON split operator will do the magic by showing all the, the attachment information through clickable tiles. I will try to doing a refresh. Let's see. And here we go. We have uh, our attachments as clickable ties. In fact, if I click on here, we have uh, our portfolio completely available to other users. So as we can see, in, this is a basic uh, example. Uh, and uh, the JSON code is uh, available in uh, the adoption uh, portal. Uh, we have also other button uh, with a specific command, uh, for example, uh, share button. 
so that uh, other people can share our professional profile. Uh, and we have also a um, button that points to our Yammer or Viva Engage uh, profile uh, to get more information about ours uh, and uh, our expertise. So basically, this is uh, everything um, we have here. And uh, that's all uh, for today. And uh, thanks uh, for watching. Sorry, sorry to jump in here, um, but I'm I'm kind of curious because I know that you you write code as well, right? So you write SPFX and you're familiar with the development uh, techniques. You said yeah. that you would not actually use this in production. Um, can you can you kind of evaluate a bit on what would you use and why? This is magical, you know, pushing the limits, uh, but it. It's, is it low code? Not really. It's JSON. It's complex. Um, well, it's uh, well. Uh, these are uh, how many? Uh, One thousand three. <laughs> <laughs> well, wow. it's a, a bit complex, uh, but uh, um, you know, uh, I think that uh, even though it's uh, very long as a code, but it's pretty redundant because uh, all the sections do basically the same things. Uh, so you can uh, think uh, about this solution as a uh, uh, several sections uh, um, repeated uh, many times. So uh, if you want to reproduce this uh, template, uh, you can add uh, even more section. I took uh, inspiration from Microsoft Dev about project skill and expertise, but uh, obviously uh, you can um, change every, everything of uh, this code. For example, it's possible also to change uh, these titles here, there is a specific uh, way uh, fully documented to change the column names uh, and have uh, an, up, uh, an update here. So um, that's all. <laughs> and, and then Federico, the, the next question is, so this is list formatting and this is JSON. Would yep. you recommend in production, I'm not sure how much experience you have on this, use this or SharePoint Framework or Power uh, Apps or what, what would be kind of your experience on, on these kind of things? Is this something what you would do for your customer using list formatting? Well, I would suggest that normally well, when it comes to Microsoft List, I would suggest to start a, a path of digital transformation, maybe trying this option because this Microsoft List is included in Microsoft 365 subscription. So uh, this could be a solution that could help you uh, understand what your needs are and therefore you can keep using uh, this uh, Microsoft List solution, or maybe you can uh, know better what you need, what you what you need more, and therefore you can also choose uh, other third-party um, apps, uh, application or paid application, obviously. But uh, this is uh, uh, a way to avoid, uh, for example, uh, storing uh, a lot of uh, PDFs uh, or uh, uh, docs uh, document. Uh, uh, in our organization and providing you with a, a sort of digital paper that can uh, help you store information through fully documented uh, features and uh, with a free application and, and so on. So it's just an option. Uh, it, ca it can be uh, obviously used um, also in production environment, um, a bit of further setup is needed, obviously. But uh, I think that uh, it's an option to help you um, choose better with the more awareness of what you need and what uh, you don't need. Just that. Yeah. Excellent. I, Thank I think you. the exciting part of this is there's a wide spectrum, right? It's like yes. you, you could implement this in Power Apps, you could implement this in SPFX, or you could implement it in list formatting, or you could start in list formatting and then uh, perhaps mature to more complex things that grow outside of list formatting. So great, great example. Uh, Thank you. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, really great job. I mean, it's it's beautiful. like holy cow, right? We need, <laughs> we need the sound effects for that. Awesome. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, very good. And and I mean, w while we're looking at that, to Vess's point, and and uh, Federico, it got to over a thousand lines of JSON. That is also broken out, I'm sure. Um, but 
don't feel like that's unwieldy. I put links in the chat around tools from Sergey that you could use SP Formatter in VS Code in a, in a uh, web extension uh, for your browser. So there's a lot of things that can assist you uh, with being able to control all of the maybe what might feel like unwieldiness of uh, JSON within list formatting. So don't feel like it's uh, it's got to be that complex. It is absolutely low code uh, opportunities there and to start learning with. So take advantage of those and reach out if you have any questions. Uh, we have a, an entire uh, repo dedicated to list formatting samples and everybody likes to assist with those. And there's some amazing things there. So definitely don't hesitate to reach out and ask questions. Mm -hmm.